Hey, what's up guys? It's Marina from Tech News. I received a request to make this video on how to post the data from HTML form to OneGoDB Atlas through Express Server and uh, MongoDB. Okay. And there is a cat right in my feet, but it's okay. I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> it's very painful. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, I will say that at the end. And for now, I'll just say please subscribe to my channel and let's go. And it's a bit late. Um, that's why my speech is not so eloquent. Let's start. <laughs> So guys, in this tutorial we're going to try to post the data from an HTML form to our MongoDB atlas uh, through the use of Express and Mongoose and the body parser packages. Let's go to our terminal. Okay, as usual we cd into desktop. Here I will create a new folder. Let's call it HTML-Mongo. Okay, cd into it. And here I will create a new file that will will be our server.js. And uh, okay, let's also create index.html. All right. And here we need to initialize, initiate the npm, npm init. I will just do the default settings here. Okay. Done. Now we need to install the following npm packages. npm install express mongoose body parser okay all done let's just ra run our server and open up our project in visual studio code let's open our html mongo folder and head over to our server.js file where we will uh, configure the express server so let's require express let's create our app that will be using this express let's create a mongoose constant that will require mongoose this is all pretty standard if you have any questions just write in the comments i will reply and let's require uh, let's require body parser okay then we will configure those so app dot use body parser url encoded where the extended is set to true so next what we want to do is to make our app listen at um, let's say 3000 and to log that um, a server is running on 3000 okay let's keep it simple here and here we will later do an app dot post request but for now just to check our express server let's let's use the app dot get method at the route root and the function that we will send will be just a text that says express is working now let's go over to our local host express is working okay so now let's connect our database let's go to our mongodb atlas uh, i have already recorded a tutorial how to co how to connect to mongodb so you can check that out here i will just show you uh, which database i'm gonna use for this tutorial so if I go to collections, I have um, this database here, node db, and in this database I have only one collection that is called nodes. And this collection, um, the schema for this collection requires only the title and the content that are both string types. So let's go ahead and create this uh, schema and model in our server.js file. Uh, but first let's quickly connect to mongoose so we, we specify mongoose.connect and here we'll just provide a URI that we get from I'll show you from if we click on connect connect your application here is our URI okay so we paste it here and as usual we delete everything 
up to this point and specify just the name of our database that we want to use in this project. And here, instead of password, I'm going to write the password for my MongoDB database account that you can create here. Again, it's all covered in, in another tutorial. There will be a link in the description, so I'll just skip that. So let's assume we are connected. Let's check our server. Save. And you can see that we are connected because now it's telling us that in order to avoid any issues, we need to specify these configurations here for the mongoose connection. Use unified typology set to true. So I just copy this and we're good to go. We can go and create our schema and data model. So first we create um, data schema. So we go and create a new constant. Let's call it notes schema. That will be an object of title. That is a string and content that is also a string. And now we create our model that will be called notes. And it will be a mongoose.model, uh, which will be referred to as node and will be using the node schema. Okay, so now in our app.post method, we can use this model to save or to perform any CRUD operations in this model. So now we are ready to go to our index.html file. Let's just create a template here and create a simple form that will have just two fields input for title, text area for content, and a button to submit this information to the to the database. So for this, I will be using a bootstrap because even if it's just a simple form, I want it to look a bit better than plain HTML. So go, let's go to our bootstrap max CDN. Also because it's very quick, we copy this link here paste it here and we are ready to use it so here I will I want to have an h1 that says um, posting data from HTML to MongoDB Atlas and then I want to have a form in which we will have an input uh, an input then we will have a text area uh, let's I, I don't like this extra mm, let's delete everything for now and type over again and we will have a button. Okay, for the form, let's do a class container so it looks better. And uh, here we will have a method equal to post because we will be posting this information to our server and then to MongoDB. And the action will be at the uh, root route. <laughs> I always have a problem with this root route word. <laughs> Tongue twister. Okay, for the input we will have a name. Okay, let's also have a class. Because in order to for the form to look nice, let's wrap this input and text area into separate divs. So div for input and uh, div for text area. Okay, 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 okay. Now these divs will be with a class of container ah sorry the class form group is a bootstrap class here as well and the input will be with the class form control and we copy this also for the text area okay done and the battle will say add to mongodb okay let's see how it looks oops run tab <laughs> okay why are you not refreshing ah, <laughs> because we need to render this file here in server.js so let's say instead of sending the this message we will send a file and here we'll specify the location of the file so um, directory name plus dash index.html okay all right, so now we are ready just to take data from here and post to the MongoDB. Let's go to our index.html. 
And to do, to do that, we need to provide the name for each input from which we want to take this data. So here I will just name it title. And here I will just name it content. And through the body parser, we can take now the values, whatever we input here, through the reference to this title and to this content. So let's go to our server.js file and we create our app.post request, also at the root route. <laughs> here as well will be a function of request and response. And here we will create our new node that will have this field. Okay, so let's create a new node that will be using this model. So we call new node that is an object of title and content. And title in this case is uh, received from the index.html by parsing this input. So let's specify here request.body.title and here will be request.body.content. These are the names that we gave to our inputs here. Okay, now we are ready to take this new node and call a save method. Now let's just save this file, see if everything is running okay, and test it. So I refresh our localhost 3000. Let's say no title um, and node content add to mongodb okay here just to avoid this loading let's just save and the rest redirect back to the route root, the root route <laughs> okay um okay so okay now we are testing this gibberish add to mongodb now we go to our mongodb to collections to our notes Okay, it works, so thanks for watching and I'm waiting for more requests. Okay, so now is the right time to say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next... Oh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.